people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome to a massive FNAF movie news video because today Blumhouse just released the first poster for the second FNAF film. And you know what? I feel like not wasting any more time. This is our first poster for Five Nights at Freddy's 2, releasing in theaters on the 5th of December 2025. This was just revealed by Blumhouse and the FNAF movie official accounts over at New York Comic Con. Included with this image is the text come find me which is very interesting but of course the main thing we have to talk about is Toy Freddy. Man, he looks awesome. Just like the first set of photos we got with the animatronics for the very first FNAF movie, this is also, you can tell, the real life animatronic of Toy Freddy, and he looks so, so shiny. He looks so, so good. During the 10th anniversary for FNAF back in August, we got the behind the scenes construction of all of the FNAF movie characters for the second film, and we saw Toy Freddy there being constructed and built by the Jim Henson Creature Shop, who are returning for the second film, and putting up a comparison between the behind the scenes construction of Toy Freddy and his final look. Oh my god, Jim Henson's Creature Shop. You guys are cooking. I cannot wait to see the other characters. We know from those behind the scenes photos that we are getting the toys, of course. We just got our first look at Toy Freddy. Toy Bonnie's there, Toy Chica's there, Mangle's there. The withered animatronics are also there. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. Very likely we're gonna get the puppet with the music box working title for the second film, as well as the music box uh, music playing at the end of the credits for the first movie. Sorry, normally I'm not like this in videos, but when we, when we get big news like this, I can't help but just ramble and keep talking. Usually I like to stay quite structured with these news videos, but dude, can you blame me? I'm freaking the hell out right now. That's Toy Freddy from the second FNAF movie. I was very uh, intrigued to see how Jim Henson was going to handle the toy animatronics because of course they're very talented people. I wasn't going to doubt them for a second, but you know, with the first FNAF movie characters, they were all very fuzzy, very furry. You know, they had fur on them, but with the toy animatronics, they're very sleek, they're very metallic, and you can see just how shiny these guys look with this Toy Freddy photo. I, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. His eyes look so, so good. He's peeking out behind the curtain. I can't wait to see Toy Freddy up on the main stage. Like, this is probably the main stage. He's gonna be up there with Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica. Oh, sweet Toy Chica. The text, come find me, is very interesting as well. That is the caption they're going for with the, with this reveal photo for the poster. We know the official tagline for the film is any one can survive five nights, but this time there will be no second chances. I have that freaking memorized at this point, which has led a lot of people to believe that some main character is going to bite the bullet, going to die by the end of the movie. My bets are still on Vanessa, unfortunately. I've seen a few other theories that it could be Abby, could be Mike as well. I don't think they're going to quite go down that path. But the text, come find me, really, really, I feel like enforces the theory and the idea that this new location, this grand reopening, is a separate location from the first pizzeria. Obviously, because that freaking collapsed and, you know, got destroyed by the end of the first movie. So I do think that this is enforcing the theory that there is a brand new location. They have these brand new animatronics. Maybe the people making the new pizzeria went to the old pizzeria. They found the destroyed remains of the original animatronics and those are going to be the Withers. Because again, this is a sequel, right? Mike and Abby and all those guys, they didn't know about Freddy's before the first movie. There is no way that this is a prequel story. So this has to happen after the events of the first film. And also, the official FNAF social media pages are updated their profile pictures with the logo for the FNAF 2 film. So we are getting very, very dangerously close, I say, to, I mean, I was gonna say to the promotion of the film, but we've already started. This is our first poster for the movie, our first like proper look at a finalized animatronic. It's Toy Freddy, he looks so good. And also while we're here talking about FNAF movie news, we got word from Matthew Lillard on when filming officially begins. We got the exact date because the other day we had comic book release an article titled Five Nights at Freddy's Two Star Matthew Lillard, who plays William Afton, Steve Raglan, confirms when filming starts exclusive. Now this exclusive article isn't that exclusive because we already know the dates already, but it turns out it's actually a day earlier than we thought. We've heard from a lot of sources that filming begins in late October, and that's still the case. And then we also heard from Louisiana Entertainment themselves that filming begins on the 28th of October, and that lasts all the way until January the 31st of 2025, and then they have the entire rest of the year before it releases on the 5th of December for post-production and all that stuff. But actually, in this interview, Matthew confirms that filming begins a day earlier on the 27th of October. Very fitting, because that is going to be the one-year anniversary of the very first FNAF movie, so that's exciting that they're starting on the anniversary itself, and I'd imagine that's gonna go till January 31st. I'd assume it's gonna be the same 
you know, filming window. And in my last FNAF news video, we talked about all of the brand new interviews that Matthew uh, Lillard and Josh Hutcherson have done in preparation for filming on the second film. They've talked about how they're adding more animatronics, of course, in the form of the Withers. There are going to be higher stakes, once again, likely because someone is going to die by the end. There's going to be more action. The script is fantastic, apparently, which is always very exciting to hear. And it's also going to be scarier, which I think is something that we were all kind of hoping for with this brand new film. And then we've also heard recently from Scott Cawthon himself, of course the FNAF creator, that once filming begins, he will be posting behind the scenes photos for the community very likely on that Scott Games Twitter account. So in just over one week now, we are going to start to see filming for the FNAF 2 movie happening. Probably some set locations revealed. Probably some extra crew members and cast members revealed. Because we still know, we've heard rumors that there are going to be more characters. In the form of maybe Jeremy Fitzgerald, the main protagonist of the FNAF 2 game. Maybe a new major male role that people are speculating could be Henry. But in terms of like official reveals of brand new cast members, it has been dead silent. But like I said, we are just over one week away from filming beginning on FNAF 2. We got this brand new poster with Toy Freddy. This is going to be a very quick FNAF news video but I obviously had to make a video about this because it just looks so so good you know FNAF FNAF movie hype's coming back get excited I cannot cannot wait for filming and those behind the scenes photos from Scott Oh, dude, I, I'm so excited, man. It feels good to be back in the FNAF movie hype. And also, in case you were wondering, this is not a render. We've had employees of the Jim Henson's Creature Shop come out and say that this is their work. This is the full animatronic. If you remember back during the poster reveal for the FNAF 1 movie, that was also a pretty heated debate. Just because they look so good, so obviously your first reaction is, oh, this is just a render. There's no way the animatronics look that good. But it turns out that it's just the insanely talented work of the Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Shop, so again another massive round of applause for them it is so incredible to have them on board with these films they are killing it it's so funny to have it happen again you think we'd learn from the first time around nope Jim Henson's really good at their job but yeah I mean it's just insane that the animatronics look that good that even the hardest of FNAF fans are being fooled by that being a render but that's what they look like. They look insane. And then also Blumhouse would want me to mention their sweepstakes going on right now for the premiere of the second FNAF film. Despite the movie still being over a year away, they are currently advertising a sweepstakes for the premiere of the film. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go sign up. I'm sure you've already signed up if you've been watching my news videos because I've been talking about it a whole lot. But if you enter, that is a chance to win two tickets to the premiere of the film, which would be absolutely incredible. Also in those videos, we saw the first look at the low logo for the FNAF 2 movie. It was shown off in blue and purple. It does seem like that was a placeholder logo with this brand new poster for Toy Freddy revealing the official number two logo. So it seems like they're not going to go blue. They're not going to go purple. It's going to be the same orangey yellow light color, which I'm fine with. Of course, I'd love to know what are your thoughts on this poster reveal for Toy Freddy? What, do you, what are your opinions on him? Do you think he looks good? In my opinion, he looks like he's pulled straight out of the game. And from the other concept art we've seen for the FNAF 2 characters, I imagine they're gonna look just as spot on as well that's gonna do it for this fnaf news video thank you all so much for watching get excited fnaf 2 movie is coming filming begins very soon thanks for watching i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye